Hello you, welcome back to Geekism. You join me in another brick in the mall. I still can't get this. I don't know why I keep wanting to say another geek. <laughs> uh, it's not, it's another brick. So in the last episode, uh, we built a fast food restaurant. Asked you guys and girls to come up with some names. Uh, the best one, uh, well, some really good ones actually, but the one that seemed to get uh, the rest of the community as excited as I uh, was, was by uh, Valen Warden, who came up with Eatism, which I think is perfect. Uh, there's a few others I liked. Uh, I did really like, um, who was it? Let me look up my looking back on them now. Uh, somebody suggested Jaunties. I can't find it now. Uh, I think that's a really good name as well, but I think that suits itself to be a bit more like a bit of an like, Italian bistro or something like that. So we'll probably do another slightly posher uh, restaurant later on as well. But for now, this sort of fast food one, I thought Eatism was really good. So we'll quickly just sort out the names for that. Somebody also suggested that we do um, Ladies and Gents there for the restrooms. I thought it was a good idea. Uh, so fast food restaurant seven now becomes Eatism. Uh, oh, no, that's Eastism. Let's try that again. Eatism, there we go. And then we'll just do uh, Eatism storage as well, just so we've got everything all ni nicely labelled. Some storage. There we go. I asked you guys for suggestions of what we could build in this little space here. Uh, Leonardo Private 001 said, uh, also, can it be an alcohol store, please? That's a good idea. We could do a liquor store. Um, so we're going to place a liquor store here. The only thing I did was leave the game running a little bit so we've got some money. And you can see that if we just do nothing, we make about four grand a day. The only issue we have here is the queues are full in Geekos, but hopefully we'll sort that out as we keep building um new uh, new bigger shops and pretty much everything unlocked now as well uh, bush transports we've got still coming but now cinema bowling uh, all that sort of stuff is um is unlocked now as well so we're pretty much good to go for the future uh, i want to build a alcohol store a liquor store sorry is probably the best way of wording it so let's have a look foundations okay so liquor store i'm thinking we kind of go, I mean, I don't, the only thing I want to do is not quite fill this whole space. I'd like to make this restaurant space just a little bigger as well. So I wonder if I do that, if we can get away with just having five and five. Yeah, I kind of want, I kind of want that to happen. Uh, do a few, couple more seating arrangements here. I just think it looks a little bit squished in here. So I want to get that built um, a little bit more there. There we go. Never noticed the noise that they make when they build things before. I don't know if you can hear that. That seems different. Hmm. Uh, okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is carry on this just a little. I don't want to spend a fortune on that for now. But I just want to bear in, remember where we're going with stuff, really. Uh, walls. Uh, oh, no. Remove walls, sorry. No. There we go. Uh, remove walls. There, there, and there, and there. Okay. Uh, is that going to look a little bit weird? That's going to look a little bit weird, isn't it? I'll tell you what, we'll remove that wall as well. And then we can add the wall in there. And remove that wall. Okay, that's that's better. It's still not ideal, but it's better. Okay, so we can work with that. So this is our liquor store space. So let's uh, go back to... Foundations, there we go. So I can't, I, w I wanted to stay like that, uh, but I want this area here. In fact, let's just pause this for a minute while we can figure this out rather than then build. Go ahead and build. Um, we'll have a few spaces of parking there. Uh, so let's go to Roadworks, um, loading zone. I'll have a loading zone and we'll have a couple of staff parkings there. Okay, that's good. And then We'll do foundations. Going to come down this way. I mean, it's a pretty big space for a store. This is, to be honest with you. Um, but you know, I think I think it'll be okay. Walls there. I mean, the other thing I know we were going to say. I said I did say we would do a liquor store, but they're usually separate as well. To be honest with you, they normally have a separate building due to a licensing issue. Wondering maybe if this space would be better off used. Oops, didn't want to do that. Um, be better off used another way 
Foundations. What have I done here? There we go. Uh, this may be better used as maybe something like a HMV style store. Now, I don't know if you guys are watching from outside of England uh, or outside the UK even, but HMV uh, stood for his master's voice. And it's the name of a um, sort of record store. Records and CDs and games and DVDs and things like that. They're still going. Um, one of the few high street stores that still kind of make that kind of sharp think maybe something like that might be a little bit better so we will do a liquor store as well down there but for now let's turn this into a HMV I think that'll work better with the space first of all let's add a wall in uh, here there we go and this can be a pretty big storage area uh, objects we'll set the uh, staff door should we go right in the middle uh, four and no we can't quite do it in the middle but let's have a couple of staff doors in this one Keep it a little bit varied. And uh, on the back here, just have the one there for the parking area. Okay. Oh, the other thing somebody mentioned that was a really good point, actually. Let me see if I can find their name. Um, Timber Werewolf said you should put some trash cans in the restrooms uh, in the, and in the fast food place. Uh, I don't think they get used, but if you're going for realism, uh, and I think that's a great idea because we are going for realism, um, probably not going to put them in the bathrooms just because they're so big. But I definitely think they're the sort of things you would have near the near the restrooms, uh, definitely. And we're going to change the uh, seating around here in a little while as well. Uh, but yeah, good suggestion. Thanks for that. Uh, right, anyway, back to this. Let's see. That's going to be about right. I, can't, I want that wall to be a little bit different. I think it can. I think we can have the wall like that. Yeah, I thought we could. Uh, foundations. We can change that yeah okay cool because it we it gives you a little bit of a grace there with the uh with that wall in fact in fact we'll take that all the way out to there just to keep it all lined up there we go and then foundations i mean it's just takes a while the system's a little funky how it how it figures out you want it to be done uh, okay that should give us the floor plan so let's just speed that up now um that sound effect definitely seems new. Unless I've just turned the game up. Oh, it's horrendous. Oh, the walls are a bit funky there. Remove walls. Thank you. Um, yeah, I've never noticed the, that building noise before. It's horrific. Oh, he's run away. Oh, he's putting the bins in. Put one bin in. And then they're coming all the way around to do a little bit of wall work there and a bit there. Okay, great. Uh, right, so let's open this up. Uh, build objects. Okay, we want double doors. Um, two, 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 one. So two, four, six, eight. So we can do... Um, should we have a double entrance? Let's have a double entrance here. Uh, oh, no, I didn't want to do that. There and there. Okay, that gives us... Um, yeah, it gives us a nice double door. And let's have... We could put some other stuff in here that kind of goes with the... You know, with the sort of area. You know, arcade cabinets. We can make quite a cool shop. Vending machines, maybe. Uh, pinball machines, I'm not sure. Uh, but for now, let's see what we can actually put. So we want table um, shelf is it is the one we want let's bring it down so we can uh, see what we can put on it a little shelf there we go um, divers toilet paper mostly there we go we've got books DVDs and Blu-rays music CDs video games they're the kind of thing we're looking at in this one I think so we've got DVDs Blu-rays music CDs video games and we'll do books as well because um, I don't think we're going to do just a bookstore. So that's so we've got four different things that can go on a shelf. That's food. Is there anything that can go on a table? So table, we could also do uh, MP3 players and, you know, maybe games consoles, I guess. And we could maybe do shirts as well. HMV often do, like, band shirts and things like that. Uh, washing machine, dishwasher, dry machine. No, no that, none of those really work. Uh, yeah. Okay. So let's um, let's do some shelving there and oh, we're a little off there. Look, there and there. We can fix that though. Uh, remove that door and 
put one in. Staff door. No. Do we set out the wall? It's annoying that it gets rid of the wall there, but it does. Uh, road work. Let's just knock the speed down a little. Uh, objects. Staff door. There we go. And that gives us two. That gives us a five. Okay, so if we now do put a couple of t-shirts at the top there, and we can add a arcade cabinet in the middle, this can be quite... A, Oh, it's really annoying that it doesn't fit the gap properly. Uh, how about a pinball machine instead? Oh, that doesn't fit the gap either. That's really annoying that it's, the gap's a little bit over to one side. Uh, vending machine? Oh, they all do it. Okay, never mind. Well, in that case, we'll have an arcade cabinet because it kind of fits the theme best, I think. Uh, okay, so let's put some more shelving in. Oh, well, let's figure out where the checkouts are going to go as well. Kind of want to go in this way. Um thinking there and there by the two doors we'll have a double check out in this one because it's hopefully going to be a busy little store it probably won't be as busy as I want it to be uh, and then the rest of the shelving we can have um, there and there usually lots of rows full of CDs to be honest with you but I don't want to waste too much on stuff um, so I think we'll do something like that. Um, maybe another row like that. These can be all the CDs. And then we'll have a couple of tables here. Um, yeah, just for a few other bits as well. I think that looks pretty smart. Okay, that looks pretty good. Uh, and we'll go for... Uh, what have we got small that we can put in, really? Pinball machine. See, these are a bit too big, really. Uh, I guess we can go plants. Yeah, why not? It probably qu doesn't quite fit the theme, but uh, yeah, I guess we can go plants and we'll have a, um, let's have an ATM. No, we'll leave it for now. Okay, uh, right, so let's pick a floor that'll look good here. Something quite bright, I think. Let's have a look. What does that one look like? Um, yeah, I think we'll go with that one. We'll fill it. I mean, this is completely wiped us out cash wise <laughs> we spent like 50 grand on this shawl uh, but luckily uh, I don't think it uh, costs us to fill the stuff up it only costs us when we sell it so um, easy some storage no we want to assign a new one so store you can assign all of you to one uh, and then you are going to become storage that's great and then if we manage our store 11 and assign the storage there. That's that sorted. Now it's assigned to a store. We can put stuff on the shelves. Uh, we can also sort some staff out. So, um, are we going to go 24-7 with this one? Should we just go all out 24-7 straight away? Let's hire a cashier. We've got, oh, they're not, you're not awful. You can come in first. You're going to start off the day shift. So you can come in 9 till 8. And then we'll hire another cashier uh, who's a little crapper. You can come in at 8 o'clock. Uh, oops. I oh, know, no, you do 9 to 5, don't you? So you come in at 5 o'clock. And then another cashier, uh, you will do, I guess, you come in in the dead of the night, basically. Or you come in at 1 in the morning, do you? Oh, what an awful shift. Uh, okay, good. Stock clerk will have 1. Uh, you're pretty good. You can come in at, uh, yeah, you can come in in the morning, that's fine. Uh, can, okay, that's uh, so all we need for you guys. Right, good stuff. And then... Uh, we'll set the zone itself open 24-7. Uh, staff are here. Nothing on the shelves yet. Let's just pause that for the stock to get started. Okay, so you are going to be uh, T-shirts, both T-shirts. There we go. You're going to be like our video game and band T-shirts. Up the top here, we'll have um, toys. Um, both of these, these are your like your video game plushies, your pop idol, your pop, uh, what do they call them? The bobblehead, the big head things, are what they're called, pop vinyls. Uh, they're going to go there. <laughs> this is very much like a HMV is what I'm trying to do here. Uh, okay, so what else have we got? Clothing, um, shoes and underwear, we're not too fussed about. Hand tools, car tools, no. Uh, beauty, I mean, occasionally they have a bit of makeup in these places, you know, a bit of sort of like themed sets. Um... I get maybe bed sheets, but it kind of doesn't. No, not quite. Uh, so these ones we can say are going to be uh, books. 
and we'll say you can be booked. We'll have a couple of books. We say they can be like uh, autobiographies about bands and things like that. Uh, these ones are going to be. Uh, so we'll have what do you think? We need mostly music CDs. So we'll do DVDs and Blu-rays, DVDs and Blu-rays, and then you can be video games, uh, video games, and then you. These can all be CDs because all the time H and V, its main thing it sells is CDs, even to this day. Uh, well, actually, no, it's probably more DVDs now. Actually, now here, uh, electronics, we will have. MP3 players and oh, cameras doesn't really fit. I think it's going to be games consoles, to be honest with you. That's probably the best suit for it. So we'll click go. We should get lots of uh, loading in there. Oh, that one's not meant to be lo that's meant to be loading there, but it isn't, is it? So let's just sort that out. Uh, road work. Is there a remove road work? Oh no, we don't want that. Uh, remove road work. Yeah, we want to take you away. And add you in as loading zone. There we go. Oh, that noise is horrendous. Definitely haven't noticed it do that before. Uh, hopefully, this little builder's going to come in. Stock is fully done. Um, stock guy doesn't come in until like nine in the morning, though. Here he is. Oh no, that's somebody else off half home. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's somebody else going. Never mind. We're going to have to tidy this stock room up a little bit to carry on this strip down here, I think. In fact, this might need a little bit of a redesign, actually. Uh, we'll see how we get on. Are we getting some stock out on the shelves here, folks? Yes, we are. There we go. Great stuff. Okay. Oh, these look pretty cool. Let's have a look. We've not seen some of these before. Uh, toys, just sort of nice boxes. Uh, what are these ones? These look pretty cool. Oh, they're books. Yeah, yeah books look pretty good. DVDs and Blu-rays look pretty good. Okay, all this sort of stuff looks pretty sweet. Uh, and we're off. We've made our first sale. We know what MP3 looks like and uh, other stuff. Oh, okay, this stuff actually seems to be doing all right. I don't think it's got a massive markup. But, you know, people are coming in and people are buying. Not too sure about the floor. That's the only thing. I don't think the floor quite fits. But I'd like some other uh, floor um, options, really. Floor tiles. Because most of them are just sort of coloured tiles. Whereas, really... We've got this nice carpet that we can use for posher places and for cinemas and things like that. And we've got this wooden carpet that we can use. We've used down here for geekism. Uh, I geekism, excuse me. Um, I mean, that would probably work for it, to be honest. But again, that's more of a bowling alley, really. Yeah, some more floor um, options would be nice. Some more sort of uh, less sort of big square tiles. They look a bit garish, I think. Uh, I'm actually pretty happy with this, though. We're making a bit of money. Yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, one person mentioned wondered if the toilets were quiet because uh, people were having to, people wouldn't come through fast food to do it. Uh, it turns out they won't do it if the fast food place is shut. Uh, but because uh, Eatism is open twenty four seven, they should have no problem being able to use the bathrooms. But we will be building other bathrooms throughout the uh, throughout the area. Um, what I want to do is get rid of this chair here. Uh, so. Remove our removals and objects. Compress. I don't think we have to select the whole thing. I think just an X in one of it, in a bit of it, we'll get rid of it. Yep, there we go. They're just eating on the floor now. Uh, so we'll go back to objects and we'll put some in here. So we've got some nicer dining tables and nicer restaurant tables we can use later on. But for now, we want these sort of basic food court tables. Uh, you pretty much do what we want you to do. Uh, we'll leave it like that. And then that's sort of our food area. This corridor will now go off down here so we open up further shops. And uh, I think that's about it. Okay, this seems pretty good. We've decided to open this 24-7. Not too sure whether that's a good idea because so far it's dead. <laughs> um, there's a person coming in for a bit of food. Maybe they might come and buy something. It's annoying me that the staff is going around that way. I don't like that. I'd much rather than go back out this way. But I've got a feeling only the chefs can handle that door maybe hmm not too sure about that yeah oh no we've made a sale eight in the morning yeah I've got a feeling this could probably just be a sort of nine till eight type shop doesn't seem like we're making many sales through the night uh, what are you saying you've got a problem the accusers are full yeah we will sort that at some point okay let's uh, manage the store profit margin okay so far we've making money salaries 385 
Maintenance is 105. Gross profit 88. So we're making money on it, so that's no problem. Uh, there we go. Okay, happy with that. There we go. Cool. Uh, right, that's uh, that's it. We need a, we need a name for it. Okay, so it's a HMV star saw. It's also hard to say a HMV star store. Uh, you can uh, come up with some names for that if you wouldn't mind. Thank you very much. Uh, in the next one, we're going to carry this around. Hopefully, build a couple of shops. We do want to start thinking towards building a sort of media center area. You know, bowling, cinema, uh, an arcade, all that kind of stuff. Uh, but for now. I think we'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give us a like. It really does help out the channel. And if you're not already, don't forget to subscribe. Any thoughts, queries, or suggestions, pop them down in the comments. And if you fancy a chat, you can find me on Twitter. I'm at Sparrow. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.